I've spent a lot of my life in a constant state of anxiety. At what point in my childhood did I learn anxiety-ridden behaviors? When did I start telling myself that I wasn't good enough? Why did I start comparing myself to other people? These are questions that I ask myself daily because at one point I was free as a bird, playing in my backyard, just loving life. As an athlete, I allowed my emotions to affect my game, not always showing my true capabilities because my mind was stuck on the last mean thing my boyfriend said to me, or I was worried about the latest gossip that was about me. I allowed others to influence what I thought about myself, which started spiraling into a depressive state. I would sleep all day, beg my mom to let me stay home from school, all because I didn't want to face the mess that seemed to be my life. Fast forward through college, I really started discovering myself. I found that exercise helped to create that one constant in my life. It was something I was good at and it opened up a lot of opportunity for me. At some point you have to wake up and say, this is my life. I will not allow others to choose my feelings. I started doing what brought me energy, exercise, good foods, and good people. I took ownership in finding the things that supported the life I wanted. I started seeking mentors who I knew would help me stay on this path. If you want to start creating positive changes, you have to choose the actions that serve the results you want. And sometimes, the decisions are difficult. You have to create something different in order to create the change. I still have so much growing and learning to do, but I wanna share my story with you and the tools I'm using to grow. I hope you join me April 27th for my Warrior Mind Retreat. I wanna help you replace your current stories with ones that fill your soul and help you create a positive life. Thank you.